I thought I was going to get away with just uh, painting the, repainting the quarter panels, the deck lid, and the other quarter panel, but uh, the car's so fucked up here that uh, we got to paint the hole back in. What we got here, we got a case of scenario case of uh, body shop blues. I haven't slept uh, for a week over this car. Uh, the car looks like shit, okay? I'm not gonna uh, bullshit you, okay? It does look like a piece of crap. Uh, but is that Pete's fault? I'm gonna tell you the honest truth, yes it is. Because I invited a friend, a 20 year old friend, to come into my shop with his son. Okay, that I watched grow up all my life and I decided to help his son out. See, that's what happens when you help people. Okay, uh, like father, like son, he was raised by his father and his father is the way he is. So of course his son's got a little bit of that attitude inside him and it really, really disappoints me. And that's really what I'm really disappointed about. I'm really upset about the situation that his son has not learned from his parents' mistakes and taken it to another level. See, sometimes that's what you gotta do. Sometimes kids gotta look at their parents and say, my parent has a default and I love my parents very much and I wouldn't give my parents up for any other parents, but some of the defaults they have, I don't wanna follow in my footsteps. Now, we all know Second Chance Junior. We all know how he is, okay? And uh, it seems that Hosify, his son, has followed in those footsteps just a little bit, okay? Not 100%, but a little bit. And I'm gonna go over this car with you. Uh, this car started out as an insurance job, okay? Started out as an insurance job. We saw what happened. It snowed in Dallas. The snow got heavy, wet, sobby. And the car for it had crushed on top of the car here, okay? So, they called my friend Pete to the rescue. Now, of course, it turns into an insurance job and there's a thousand dollar deductible, okay? Let me say that one more time, okay? Let me say that one more time. One thousand dollar deductible! There, now you know. Now, what that included, the insurance job was to replace the deck lid with the used one, with the used one, okay? There was a dent over here which was not caused by the accident, but the owner of the vehicle claims it is. We'll just call him the owner, okay? We all know who it is. Okay, junior second chance guy and son, okay? So, the owner claimed that there was a dent way down here, see? Okay? Or whatever happened. Now this car, okay, I, I have inspected this vehicle closely. It's been wrecked before. The front end has been totaled out. Whoever owned this vehicle before, it's a Corvette. What do you expect, okay? It's been drag raced. It's been hot rodded. Okay, at one time in its life, it had been uh, shimmy shammied around, okay? You know, sifted in the pavement, slammed up against curves, okay? Somewhere down the line, that car has been wrecked in the front. We don't want to go over that, but it has. That concludes me to leave that the dent way down here in this area, okay, which I don't even know if you can see it, it's way down there, okay, happened from the carport falling up here, okay? Okay, I'm not gonna argue with them. Okay, I'll fix it for you, so what? Just like our Mercedes guy, okay, I fixed his door dings. No big fucking deal, right? So, what we got here is we got us a nice, nice, beautiful pewter silver color. Now. This type of paint is hard to paint, okay? This type of paint does not blend easy. This type of paint blotches up on you. This type of paint leaves streaks. It's hard to blend this paint. You've got a Corvette that's got a two and a half, three foot deck lid, okay? The quarter panel is about six inches from the door, okay? Do you see what I'm saying? All right, so you don't have much room to jack around there. So to print this car properly, you have to paint the whole back end, okay? You have to paint the 
thingamajiggy up here, the fucking uh, splitter, whatever you want to call it. I'm so pissed off, you know, I can't think right now. And then you have to blend the paint into the doors and then clear coat it all. So being the nice guy that Pete is, okay, Postify wants his car painted nice, okay? He wants his car painted beautiful. He wants it to be, you know, he's a kid, okay? He wants to show his car off. So nice guy that Pete is, being the godfather uh, figure in his life, okay, that he looks up to me as, okay? And this really breaks my heart that I got to do all this, but we're going to get to that end, okay? Being the godfather type person that I am to Hosify, I say, hey, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's go ahead, if you and your dad sand the whole car down, okay, sand the whole car down, okay, and get it all prepared, because Junior's been around me for 20 years, he knows how to do that. He's worked here in the past several, several times. He knows what he's doing, okay? You get it all prepared, I will go ahead and dust a coat of paint on the whole car so everything matches, because this paint is very, very hard to match. This is one of them colors that has 20 different variances when you mix the color, okay? So what happens is they sand it down, okay? Uh, I might say they did a shitty fucking job sanding it down, okay? Junior takes his son's car, okay, that he's raised for 20 years, and pretty much fucks it up, okay? But the deal is, you're doing all the sanding, okay? I'm sticking to my gun, see? Sometimes you gotta do that. I can't, I got other cars to work on. The deal was, you fucking do all the work to it, I'll paint the motherfucker, you do all the sanding again, and I'll come back and buff it. And you'll have a beautiful car. Of course, me and Minnie went ahead and put the flames on it, okay, for free. That wasn't part of the insurance job. Now, mind you, remember, there's a so my friend Pete decides to go ahead and let them work on the car. Even though their dad is fucking it up, his dad is fucking it up. I walk in the shop, I walk in the paint booth, I guide them through it periodically through the days, okay? And they fuck it up. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to come back and repaint the whole fucking car again by myself? Do you see Junior or Hostify anywhere in sight? Do you hear a sound in my shop except me and the fucking airplane outside? Listen close. Exactly. So now, my name's Pete, and this is Bruno, and we're over at southwestrodcustom.com.